Hello everyone, this is a short video to show you how to do the multi-factor authentication. We kind of tried to do it in the last video and I was not 100% sure uh, exactly how to do it. So in this one, uh, there are multiple different ways uh, you can do it. And uh, multi-factor authentication is available for free to all administrators, I believe. If you want to enable it for other users, you have to go uh, with and, and get the Azure AD PIM, uh, which requires a, a, a premium P2 support package. Uh, but let's look at uh, how to create the multi-factor authentication. So there are multiple ways to do it. So you can go to the Active Directory. and Active Directory, you can go to the Security tab. Under Security, you hear some documentation of a whole bunch of stuff. But in here, you can go to the MFA. The MFA will take you to this page. And in this page, you have the configure and additional cloud-based MFA setting. Okay. Uh, you can pretty much click on this link. And that link should take you to the MFA configuration page. So if you look at this page, uh, multi-factor authentication users and service setting. So you can uh, also use uh, multi-factor for the apps and also for the users. So we're going to uh, do it for the users for this time. If you want to do bulk update, you can click on it. It will let you, uh, uh, it will ask you to select a CSV file. And it's going to also give you download a sample file. So you can download the sample file and uh, you can update the sample file if you like. I'm uh, using Ubuntu, that's why I don't have the Microsoft Office. It's using uh, using a, a different product, of, like LibreOffice uh, free uh, to open this document for me. But anyway, you can update this uh, file and it looks just like that uh, if you want to enable. So it's pretty much if you look at this uh, file, it has a username and an MFS status. You can have the username and whether you can put either the status is enabled or disabled. Uh, all right. So if you want to do a bulk uh, update all of the users, you know, now to uh, enable, say, um, users, uh, let's see, this one is not even giving me any option, users. Uh, here no yeah no it's not even giving any option to enable it so usually what happens if I could oh, yeah here, 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 here so this user okay this is a user which is part of my active directory and I can enable the multi-factor authentication and uh, there are two users I have selected and let me uh, it, and I can do uh, enable over here if I want to enable that so before I do that I'm gonna uh, go back one more time I just didn't want to select one of the users here so let me uh, refresh this page one more time and I have none of the users selected so I'm just gonna select one and uh, quick steps I'm just gonna click uh, enable and it's gonna give me uh, this uh, guide the please read the deployment guide if you haven't already and uh, we'll just say enable multi-factor authentication and uh, okay uh, let's see if we can do it for two users no it's not happening no it does it's it's happening for some of the users it looks like uh, it's, it's it's not giving me the option to do it I think the reason being some of the users they are not yet registered to my Active Directory. Like I have sent invitation to these users until they are uh, registered and part of the Active Directory, they are, they cannot be we cannot enable the multi-factor authentication for them. So that's a, a a quick and easy way how you would uh, enable the multi-factor authentication for uh, some of the users. Um, So we can do some of that stuff. Yeah, manage user setting. Here, manage we request your users to provide contact method again. We can do that. Delete all existing apps and password. 
and rest to multiple authentication on all remember devices we can do some additional stuff which I'm not doing at this time uh, the other thing I wanted to uh, go to the MFA I think we're already at MFA so you can also go to MFA from here you can just search and uh, here is my multi-factor authentication once again and I'm just gonna take a look at some of the blades and see what we have here okay server setting MFA server what do we have to extend message uh, one-time bypass caching rules server status uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything uh, interesting uh, in here account lockout number of MFA okay, this one you can probably do uh, what are the, the the criteria for account lockout so you temporarily lock out account for multiple authentication service if there are too many denials for authentication attempts in a row so number of info denials say I do five maybe mini sample account lockout container reset maybe if, uh, give them five minutes May, minutes until account is automatically unblocked maybe uh, 10 okay so and then is it just do this based on your business requirements but that's uh, pretty much what uh, you have to do but there is another uh, let's see which other user is actually available in the active directory uh, if I go to the users we created one user is the user one and he look he's member of the active directory so let's see if we try to enable uh, this guy for active uh, for two-factor authentication well, I'm gonna do I'm gonna just copy this his full username and uh, setting minor authentication contact info identity all of that so let's go back to uh, go back to uh, MFA MFA and multi-factor authentication and we'll just try to find that person we'll go uh, in here one more time and uh, allow user to create passwords okay in this one with the other thing I want to uh, take a quick, allow users to create app passwords and then uh, uh, these are the so verification options okay so it looks like we cannot do the call to cell phone but uh, other options are available text message to phone notification through mobile app and verification code from mobile app or hardened token and we want to remember the multi-factor authentication um, I don't want to do that so I'll just uh, click on save and uh, let's see users go back to users and uh, go find that person which is this person is a user one and I want to enable that so what I'll do I'll try to at least uh, log in once I have uh, enabled that one so here is another one so this is the user I'm already logged in so I'm gonna log out for a second and I'll try to log back in and see what happens alright so now I'm logged out so let me try to log back in and uh, let's see what happens so here since uh, since I have enabled the multi-factor authentication it's now asking hey uh, stop here your organization needs more information to keep your account secure so if you do uh, next over here so now since I said hey enable the multiple authentication you gotta set up your authentication method so now it looks like there are two different uh, method is available you can either do it uh, authentication via phone or via a map or via mobile app okay so use a verification code or receive notification for verification you can use any of this and then you if you you using the app you cl click on that one and it's going to let you configure the mobile app so pretty much you you're going to download the app in your phone 
and then once you are done so uh, you know you you will just uh, uh, do some stuff to set up the app uh, and uh, if you do the phone you will just select your uh, phone number over here and then you hit next and then you will receive a phone a message in your phone and and you will verify that your account is now activated so from now on if, whenever you are going to log in you will get the uh, sms method or you can use the authenticator code authentication code from your uh, mobile authentication app and you will be able to log in so that's pretty much all about it in this video uh, we have gone over how to sh how to enable the multi factor authentication for uh, users uh, within the Azure Active Directory. Thank you.